Hey art friends, it's Allie. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna do a quick overview today of cycle one great artist. I'm going to go through all six weeks. Individual videos will come. So if I'm skipping a step, don't worry, it'll be an individual video, but I wanted to show you the materials and mediums that we're gonna be using because there are probably some things that you're not gonna have on hand just every day that you may need to order or something. So that's why I wanted to give you a heads up. So let's get started with Mr. Jado. For Mr. Jado, who is an early Renaissance artist, I was inspired by this triptych that my grandmother used to have in her house. This is a uh, Raphael. And so we're going to mimic the triptych, which you can see here, they would use that a lot in painting. So you're gonna need yellow cardstock and we're gonna be making a little triptych like so. All right, so you take your yellow cardstock, you find the halfway point, which is going to be five and a half. You draw a mark there, you turn your corners in, then you get scissors and you cut your angles to create your triptych. Then you use a Sharpie and you are gonna be doing your oils and also kind of mirror images. And we're gonna draw the Madonna and child in the middle. And then the highlight of this is making the egg tempera paint. And so we'll be doing that and then painting it in with different colors for the egg tempera. So week 13, Mr. Giotto. Week 14 is Gilberti. One of his famous accomplishments as an artist were these huge baptistry doors on a cathedral in Florence. And so we're going to mimic that. So it is a leaf relief. So if you can see here, there is a leaf that is glued to a piece of cardboard. This is four inches by four inches and you could play around with putting other things on here as well. That's just what we did um, three years ago. So four by four, and then this is six by six gold foil, and this is made actually for candy. Check the description and they'll have the links down there. So you glue your leaf down, you put your gold foil on it, you glue that down, and then you rub it. And then you take a black paint. I tried shoe polish one year and that didn't seem to work, but that just kind of highlights the veins and the leaves. And that is for week 14. Week 15 is Fra Angelico, which was not his given name, but that is how, that's his artist handle. So the Madonna and Child, again, and then they love to embellish with gold, black construction paper or black cardstock, oil pastel for the Madonna and Child. And then we're going to be using the same gold foil again, and we're going to be highlighting Mary's head. As we can see that they would love to highlight the angels and Mary here with the gold. These come in packets of 200, so I think you'll have plenty to use it for two weeks. But I love adding that special little embellishment to it. Week 16, Mr. Durr. He would do a lot of block printing, wood cuttings. Here's some example of his work. So the lesson for this one is to do an animal and to put your initial in it. I love his signature. He would just do an A and a D. Here he has it hiding down here. So the simplest way that I know, I don't love using the styrofoam, but it's the quickest way I know how to do this, would be to cut this out on the flat part. So you're left with about a four by five plate, and then you use a dull pencil, and they do a simple animal on there and then also put their initial and do multiple prints of it because sometimes there might be too much ink, sometimes it's just right. And then working with the reversal of your letter. If it's an A or an H, 
then you don't have to worry about reversing it. So this is a good mirror image and using those oils of drawing simple animals. This is a good time to use scrap paper and you could use multiple colors and just stick with black ink just to simplify things but have different colors is one way to change it up. Week 17, Mr. Michelangelo, two suggestions here. Mr. Michelangelo loved sculpture, as you can see depicted here. He did not love painting, but that is one thing that he is very famous for is painting the Sistine Chapel. So here we have some sculptures, three dimensional pieces. You could do a simple pinch pot. You could use air dry clay. This is actually a clay that is fired if you had access to that. So pinch pots. This is a hand that we traced of the person and then slightly curved it up to create like a little dish. This reminds me of how much he loves sculpture, but then also of the scene that's in the middle of the Sistine Chapel is the creation scene where you have God's hands reaching down to Adam's hands. And so that reminds me of that as well. The next suggestion is going to be taking cardstock, putting it on the bottom of the table, to create this experience like he had for the Sistine Chapel where he spent four years of his life painting when he really didn't want to, but he still did an excellent job doing something that he didn't love or enjoy, but still putting forth good work ethic. So cardstock, then you could reflect back and draw the Madonna and child without the gold, but water soluble oil pastels just on like a white cardstock. After it's been colored, then you could take a paintbrush and water and then paint it on there. So that way you wouldn't have to worry about actual paint globs dropping to your floor. You know, if you're having to do this in a classroom that has carpet or something of the sorts. And there's many great suggestions out there for Michelangelo. This is just two. Sculpture of some sort or recreating his experience of the Sixteen Chapel ceiling. Week 18, El Greco. He is known for elongated figures in his painting. And so this is a piece of manila paper and you take your shoes off, you put them down, you trace around them with a pencil because we don't want Sharpies on our shoes. After it's traced, then go around it with a Sharpie. And then we draw this elongated figure. It's very simple, like you're just drawing an upside down V, connecting it, and simple figure. And then you're also doing, working on those oils for the patterns on there. But I think this is just a fun perspective where it really is elongating our figure like Mr. El Greco. I hope that gave you a clear overview of what's ahead for the Cycle 1 Great Artist and what materials you may want to grab before you get started with your students.